An easy way to make a lifeless project feel a bit more complete and professional is by adding screen shake. Look at how Spider-Man adds some screen shake when you're beating the hell out of goons, or watching the world explode around you. It's a quick, painless bit of code and animation that can add to a game's immersion, and you can easily include it in your own Unity project. Now, we could make some script that randomly shakes the screen, but in my experience, that's just going to take a lot of time to tweak and get the feel that we want. I think the easiest, most modular way to get that screen shaking is using animation. When I visualize a screen shake effect, the movement starts out jarring and intense, but slows down and becomes less intense over time, until eventually it stops at its original position. Now we can start setting this up in Unity. I'm going to start by making sure that the camera is actually a child of another object that I'll call Cam Rig. This is to ensure that I can animate the camera independently of any code that allows the whole rig to move or rotate. Let's add an animator component to the actual camera and open up the animation window. We can create an animation clip for our selected object since it has an animator. So let's create a clip called Camera Idle. This is going to act as a default position for the camera to return to once it stops shaking. And all we need to do for this animation is add a keyframe for its current default position. Now let's animate the actual shake. I'll create a clip called Cam Shake 1. This will be a vertical shake and we'll try to match it up to the little cartoon from a few minutes ago. We want to keyframe the most extreme vertical position for the shake, and then just a few frames later, the most extreme position in the opposite direction. So I'll just keep adding keyframe after keyframe. What's important to remember is that the actual distance between keyframes doesn't matter in this animation. We just want to ensure that as the space between them increases, the motion gets less extreme. We can easily modify the speed later on if we need to. I can hook this up in the animator now. Let's add a parameter, a trigger called shake. Now let's do our transitions. Our idle animation will transition to shake when the shake trigger is activated. It's a sudden jarring effect with no visible transition, so I'll turn off exit time and change transition duration to zero. Because we want the shake animation to go back to idle only once it's finished, we'll just let it use the default exit time. So I'll leave those values alone. The last thing I need to do to make this work is add a single line of code wherever I want this effect to happen. For me, that's usually when the player is hit or gets killed. In the player's take damage function, I'll add cam.getComponentAnimator.setTrigger shake. Let's hit play and see how it looks. Maybe not quite as good as Spider-Man, but I'll take it. And because this is an animation, we can easily tweak it by changing the speed in the animator or adjusting the keyframes. We can even expand on this by making additional shake animations and having one chosen at random when the player is hit. You can see this working in the code for this project, which I've linked to in the description. In fact, you can check out the code for this project and many others at the Aggressive Combustion GitHub, which is also linked below. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please mash those like and subscribe buttons. We're gamers, we love seeing pointless numbers increase. Thanks so much for watching.